Hey everybody, this is Zach, just trying to make a quick video uh, in response to Jason at 4. Jason at 4 made a video about some silver the other day. I just kind of wanted to respond. Uh, he had some good stuff uh, that he mentioned. I always love watching his videos, love watching uh, videos by Pastor Dow too when he talks about silver. Um, yeah, you should absolutely keep buying silver right now. And yeah, you if you missed out, you missed on the dip. I mean, seriously, the dip is over, at least for this period, at least this time. Um, I bought last week, a week and a half ago, right when it was about 30 bucks. Uh, so I, I made a really good move. I knew I was going to buy. I was hoping it would get a little lower, and I said, no, it's taking too long. It's taking way too long for the dip to go any lower, so I pulled the trigger on it. I just went ahead and bought some. I got these really nice generic rounds, uh, Buffalo generic rounds. These are pretty nice. Uh, pretty nice. I like them a lot. And so, anyway, I went to the store. I want to tell you about my store experience. I went to the store, and the place was packed. Now, this was a really large store, uh, huge counter space, a lot of people in there. It even took me a few minutes to even get to the counter because there were so many people ahead of me being helped out. And the store had a lot of staff working behind the counter. And uh, to my, when I finally got to the counter, I made, I made, told the clerk that I wanted to buy some generic silver rounds, and he just, like, did a double take. What? what? Oh, you want to buy? Because everyone else in the store was selling. They were selling. They were selling their junk silver. I had a guy to my right who was selling his entire silver coin collection. I had a guy, I had a lady to my, uh, uh, to my, you know, yeah, lady to my left who was selling her uh, junk jewelry, junk silver jewelry, junk gold jewelry, a, a gold belt buckle, I mean, all kinds of things, trinkets and so and what whatnot, that she was trying to get some money out of. And it was like that the entire store around all these counter spaces people were selling all their stuff uh, and behind the counter you had buckets five gallon buckets of people uh, filled with uh, like some buckets were filled with um, junk silverware like uh, sterling 92.5 uh, silver silverware you had another bucket full of uh, jewelry uh, bracelets things like that that were silver or gold that were tossed in and to be sorted later I guess and then you had uh, like other things with like uh, bigger things like candlestick holders or whatever. But it was stuff that people were selling in five-gallon buckets behind the counter. And everybody in there was selling. And when I told the guy behind the counter I was interested in buying, he was like, whoa, someone actually wants to buy something today. You know, he could, it was like he couldn't believe it, the look in his eyes. And I think that's – I just think there's a lot of people out there selling. They're, you know, we, we make this thing – to think that by buying these silver rounds, you know, we're taking money away off the market. You know, we're taking the silver off the market. And I agree 100% with Jason at four and these other guys to say this is the time to be buying. You know, we need to be buying this stuff because, you know, the economy is going to collapse. There is no doubt about it. It's going to collapse and we're going to be in big trouble. And so it's good to have some of this stuff. But the thing is, this, if you're thinking that, you know, we're – you know, sticking it to the man, sticking it to, you know, the big guys on Wall Street by buying this stuff, you know, you're wrong. Because for every ounce of this stuff you buy, <clears throat> there is just hundreds of ounces coming onto the market. Because people are turning it in, they're trading it in, they're, they're trying to sell it to make money because they can't afford the rent, they can't afford to, uh, to make their car payments anymore. The American public is so far in debt, they're doing whatever they can to sell whatever they can to be able to make, make do and get by. Um, so, anyway, I just wanted to give you an update. I just think there's so much silver flooding the market right now, coming onto the market in junk silver, and all that junk silver, the, the silverware and the jewelry, all that stuff's going to be melted down and put back probably into industrial uses. So, I don't think we're going to see a real rise in silver <clears throat> for quite some time. <clears throat> I mean, the <clears throat> excuse me, I think, you know, the $50 uh, an ounce, you know, is probable. But we're not going to hit $100 an ounce silver or $200 an ounce silver for a while because there is so much silver out there right now in the form of junk silver and silverware and all this stuff that people haven't sold yet. It's going to come on the market. But when that stuff dries up, then you're going to start seeing $200 an ounce, $100 an ounce you know, silver. I think you can go up to $500 an ounce silver. I really do. Uh, once a gold gets up to about five thousand dollars an ounce, you can see this up to five hundred dollars an ounce. But it's not going to happen in any time in the near future because you have so much junk 
that's getting onto the market with people selling out the, their stuff. And so people right now are saying, you know, you know, this is too expensive. These are like, you know, 40 bucks a piece, you know, or uh, it's just they're, they're too expensive. If you buy them online, you, you can't afford them. <clears throat> you know, if you, you can still buy silver dimes, like these silver dimes right here, buy some of these silver dimes. They're, they're a couple dollars for one of these things. You know, you, you can still get in the silver game, the physical silver game, and not buy silver rounds, you know, the one-ounce rounds. You know, go out and buy yourself some some silver dimes, and uh, that stuff can, I mean, that, that will really, I mean, that, that'll get you in the game right there. But the, and, and you'll thank yourself when you do, after you do it. So, <clears throat> one other thing I saw at the store I'll mention real quick that I thought was kind of cool and I picked up some. Completely really worthless, and there's no real point in having them, but I just thought they were kind of cool, so I picked up a couple. Were uh, these one-pound copper bars. I, they're starting to sell copper now for investment. You believe that? Copper bars for investment. I mean, I got some penny. I got a lot of pennies saved up. I always save my pre-1982 pennies, but um, man, they're even selling copper bars now, you know, for investment. So yeah, there's my there's my copper one-pound bar that I, I bought. I, I it was a few bucks. You know, I said, oh, that's kind of neat. I'll, I'll buy a few of those just just for just for just for giggles. So there you go, my one-pound copper bar. That's crazy, but it's going to tarnish probably in no time. But anyway, I'll put those in, in the closet and use them as a doorstop or something. Anyway, all right, um, I'll talk to you guys later. Hope you enjoyed the video. But I just want to say, yeah, I don't think we're going to reach, you know, the real potential of silver until all the stuff on the market, you know, that's flooding onto the market is, is out there. And right now, people are just swarming to these you know, we buy gold stores or we buy silver stores and selling everything they have and it's just flooding the market. And so we're not going to see the big increase uh, until those days and until the manipulation's over. But that's that's going to be over here pretty soon. Um, the Goldman Sachs manipulation, all that stuff, Bear Stearns. But we're, I'm not talking about the real move up until the market dries up of all the people, all the silver that people have in their homes. And people don't even realize how much silver they have in their homes yet. You know, the silverware and all this stuff that they've got tucked away in the closet from grandma or whatever that was passed down to them. The old candle, uh, silver candle holders, things like that. There's so much of that flooding the market right now that uh, we're not going to see a big move up until all of that's dried up. So, just want to tell you about my experience. Maybe it's worth something, maybe it's not. You know, that's what YouTube's for. Alright, take care. Have a good day.